everybody, this is Praxis, and I just got a quick video for you today. I'm doing a little bit of painting uh, on some boards that are going to be going up under the eaves of the roof where the roof overhang hangs over uh, just to secure all that. So if we get some hurricanes and stuff, you don't get wind uh, jumping up under there. But beyond that, I want to just talk about what's going on in the garden here. That is a part of the homestead. One thing that we're doing is collecting a lot of Japanese beetles. Uh, Japanese beetles are one of our favorite pests here in the garden. I always feel bad about killing them. I know that they're an invasive uh, creature here in North America um, and I know that they're competing for our food and it's kind of like survival of the fittest, you know, law of the jungle. They're after your food, you know, you got a right to defend your food. I still feel bad about killing them, but I feel a little bit better about the prospect when I, I get to do this with them. This is something new to me. In the past, I would just kill them and throw them on the ground. You know, they'd compost. Something would eat them. But now I get to see something eat them because we've got the chickens here. Keepers. Here you go. Right. And that makes me feel a little bit better about the prospect of uh, killing these things when I get to see them, you know, get used because the chickens need to eat anyway. So if I can have them eating invasive pests that are eating our, our garden, I think, think that's, uh, you know, Makes me feel better about it anyway. How's the garden doing? Garden's doing pretty well. We've got, um, uh, what is it, butternut squash through the middle. Uh, it's a little behind where I would like to see it, but it looks healthy. Our tomatoes are all looking really uh, good and healthy. The red plant over there is amaranth. That's looking pretty good. Our garlic patch was doing really well. Potatoes are doing pretty well. I've already pulled out some small potatoes out of there. I'm not, I'm not sure if we got any big ones uh, down in that area. I am going to be modifying how I'm planting potatoes for next season. I'll talk about that in a later video, but I have learned a lot this season about how that uh, is going, and I've got some improvements for it. Uh, this plant right here is uh, mullein. It's something that just grows wild in here, and um, I just leave it because it's not bothering anybody, and it's kind of a neat plant. It does have some medicinal properties that, related to uh, ear health, you know, uh, treating ear infections, although we never get ear infections, so we don't use it, but it's just kind of a neat plant. I'm, I'm just about uh, six feet, and it's, God, that's, that's over eight feet that plant right there it's, and it just grows in one season so that's pretty cool but whole gardens uh, doing pretty well we got a little kale through here uh, we've got some grapevines over on the back side over there they're just potted and we're going to be moving those to some location later on but this stuff's all going pretty well and uh, you know you just learn more and more every year and this year the big development is that whenever I see an invasive insect eating our crops instead of just being like ah I'm kind of like oh good I can feed the chickens <laughs> that's it thanks for watching